This is hydrogen tap one. What we're doing here is an experiment or test to see if there are any changes that can occur using a magnet, magnetic fields with hydrogen output. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, that's an amp meter. We're registering 1.0506. This is a large magnet that is pole is going to the right. As you can see, there doesn't seem to be any change in the density or flux of the hydrogen bubbles or the amp meter. These are rare earth magnets. There are two of them I'm putting next to the container. Again, there does not seem to be any change whatsoever in the bubble output or the amount of amperage that is being drawn. Those are two stainless steel plates separated by the same non-conductive washers. What we're going to do is confirm this completely by putting the rare earth magnets closer to the hydrogen bubbles. As you can see from the amp meter, we're getting a steady amount of power or amps going through here. There's no charger on this battery. That's a 12 volt battery. As you can see, there's still no difference in the output of the hydrogen, nor is there a difference in the amperage. At this point in time, we have to assume that the amount of hydrogen output is equal to the amount of amperage going through the water. I haven't tested the pulsing system yet, which I intend to. Now we're putting the rare earth magnet in to the hydrogen bubbles to see if closer proximity will make any changes. At this point, there doesn't seem to be any. These are rare earth magnets, which are very powerful, which I'll show you in a moment just how powerful they are. What I'm going to do is change the lighting so you get a better view of the hydrogen bubbles. And we're going to put the magnet directly into the mix there so we can see once and for all whether magnetic energy will do anything. And from what we can see here, it's not doing anything. If there was going to be any change whatsoever, these magnets would cause it. There's a good shot. If the magnets were doing anything, you'd see a response. All the bubbles would be heading towards it, and they're not. That's normal water surface tension that is attracting the bubbles there. What we're going to do now is show the strength of the rare earth magnet so you get some idea of what we're using. As you can see, we're still holding steady at around 1.05 amps. What I'm going to do is put a There you go. And I think that should show you the strength of these magnets.